In a tremendous success story for indigenous defense production and for public-private partnership, Dynamatic Technologies has built the first front fuselage for the FOC-configured Tejas Mark I, and this is the first time a complex fuselage section with midair refueling probe for a supersonic fighter jet has been built by an Indian private sector company. Hindustan Aeronautics has already outsourced significant manufacturing works on the upcoming 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets to private sector companies like Dynamatic Technologies Larsen and Tubro and Alpha Design Technologies Private Limited, which is aimed to boost the production rate of the indigenous fighter jet. The chairman and managing director of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that HAL will also look for opportunities with dynamatic technologies on aircraft trainer and UAV platforms. The American fighter jet business is dominated by Lockheed Martin, which leaves little room for further orders for the Boeing F-15 NEX and F-A-18 from the US Air Force and the US Navy, as both services are making the transition to fifth-generation F-35 fighter jets. Both the Boeing-developed F-15 NEX and F-A-18 are in the competition for 114 fighter jet contract of the Indian Air Force and 20 carrier bond fighter jet requirement by the Indian Navy, and there is a considerable pressure on India by US administration to award the contract to Boeing's military sales division. Boeing has offered the F-15 EX open mission systems architecture, which will allow India to upgrade its software for integrating its indigenous air-to-air -air and air-to-ground systems. The US is disappointed that the Predator B deal was not officially announced at the 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue, and reports indicate that India has shelved the 22,000 crore rupees deal to buy 30 Predator B drones from the US as the air chief had flagged the high purchase cost of 900 crore rupees per unit, and 10% annual maintenance cost in several internal meetings. Another deal breaker is the fact that the Predator B contract did not include any transfer of technology or defense offsets. Meanwhile, the Indian Navy has cited the aerial platform as an urgent operational requirement for monitoring the Indian Ocean region, and new reports indicate that the Indian Navy is looking at a separate proposal to lease two Predator B drones from the US for training purposes. India's first defense park is ready for inauguration, and the 60-acre park with state-of-the-art infrastructure is intended for manufacturing of defense equipment for the Indian Armed Forces as well as exports to global market. The Kerala Industrial Infrastructure Development Corporation is looking at leading companies such as Bharat Earth Movers Limited Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics Limited as anchor investors, while several hundred micro small and medium enterprises have also shown interest to establish their units. Global security agencies that track China's moves to dominate geopolitics have said that China has intensified lobbying and back-channel negotiations to secure a state visit by the French President Macron to China, in its attempt to finalize the 10 billion euro nuclear technology deal between China's National Nuclear Corporation and a government-controlled French nuclear energy company, which could be a setback for stability in Asia and emerge as a matter of concern for India, Japan and Taiwan, as China's National Nuclear Corporation oversees Chinese military and civilian nuclear programs, and the French technology will be diverted to its military program. The first phase of the Malabar Naval Exercise 2020 among the navies of Quad countries has started from today in the Bay of Bengal, and this mega exercise will demonstrate high levels of synergy and coordination between the navies of India, US, Japan and Australia, and it showcases the Quad's resolve to support an open Indo-Pacific region. The first phase of the exercise will be conducted till 7 November and would see complex and advanced naval exercises comprising surface anti-submarine and anti-air operations. The Indian Coast Guard has commissioned the C-452 interceptor boat that has been indigenously designed and built by Larsen and Tubro. 
The 30-meter long interceptor boat has a displacement of 90 tons, and it can achieve a maximum speed of 45 knots, and are designed to perform search and rescue operations and coastal surveillance. Oh, Mark, dropped it.